Uh, that was Tammy Wynette, a uh, record we just I threw together to come down here. Uh, you have something coming up from Leonard Bernstein. Stein. Would, same to you. Uh, Leonard Bernstein, what, what is it? Uh, well, Mr. Fien. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's uh, the fourth movement from his second symphony, The Age of Anxiety. What year would that have been? Uh, late 40s, early 50s. Uh, he worked on it for about three years. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I just think it's a really fantastic piece of music. I, I don't know what to say about it, except it's just one of those things that's really that great. But you think the first two minutes or so will give some taste, yeah. taste of it? Oh, I think the first two minutes will ram the idea right home. OK, let's try it. Leonard Bernstein, 19, late 40s. So says Skip. As someone just remarked, sounds like West Side Story, a part of West Side Story. Yeah, well, Bernstein wrote this a few years before West Side Story, and certain things from the Age of Anxiety Symphony were co-opted into different musicals. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the stuff pops up in Wonderful Town, some pops up in West Side Story. Do you know uh, On the Town pretty well? Fairly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I, I honestly think that, like, Leonard Bernstein's in a way the most considerable music person of the second half of this century. Considerable because of versatility and output or what? Not just versatility, but the fact that every time he put his hand to something, he really made a major effect, uh, whether it was as a Broadway composer, as a conductor, as somebody who exposed music to people, as a presenter of music. Also the fact that, you know, before Leonard Bernstein, all conductors looked like Stokowski. They were like white-haired guys, these really cartoon figures mm -hmm. in a way. And here was like- Long this, hairs. Yeah, exactly. And here was this very handsome movie star looking guy, you know. Young. He played baseball, he was young, he smoked, he played jazz. You know, he was like a popular American figure. Mm -hmm. And I think he did more to demystify music for a couple of generations of listeners than pretty much anybody else. Who did he, who did he present? Uh, well, composers he presented. He was, you know, he was really instrumental in getting music by like Charles Ives to a larger listening public. And Ives was always considered this incredibly, incredibly difficult, dissonant, ooh, bad, you know, avant-garde music. Mm -hmm. And Bernstein went, man, that's just some more music. Let's just play it. By the way, on the passage we just heard, Who's playing what? Uh, Bernstein is conducting, and the pianist is uh, actually a school chum of his who has been living out here for maybe 50 years, a guy called Lucas Foss, hmm. who, like a guy who I've sort of studied with, claimed is uh, his student, uh, hmm. Bob Dresden. Hmm. OK, let's talk about somebody who lived out here for a little while, too. Uh, 17 and a half years, exactly. That's Richie Valens. Uh, <laughs> but didn't die here. Died. He's a valley boy. <laughs> yeah, he was a valley boy, yeah, a guy from Pacoima, right? right. Pacoima, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pacoima Junior High School, I should know that. Uh, on the second Richie Valens album, which I bought when it came out posthumously, I think I bought it posthumously, I'm not sure if it came out before he died, um, there's this ballad, Stay Beside Me, that just kills me, yeah. always has killed me, like one of the greatest songs I've ever heard. All and, his ballads are really good. 
But I don't think in a Turkish town is as good as this. I don't think that's a ballot. I mean, oh, like, no, is, no. you know, da, 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 What other value? What other ballot are you talking about? Uh, O'Donna. <laughs> well, I know that one. I skipped the obvious. This is not an obvious show. But, um, and, uh, oh, there's that one, well, we belong together. Yeah. You know, this ballad performance this world is just really nice. Okay, this is a valence composition, Stay Beside Me. It's, it's just unbelievable. It should have been as big as Donna or bigger, or it should be, it should be known. That's what it should be. And uh, last cut, I think, on the second, I don't want to say that, on the second Richie Valens album, Stay Beside Me. Let's listen to a little bit of it. It's just, just so great, and reminds me of winter, I guess, because it came out around the time he died, which was February, in Chicago, where it was cold. Yeah. Winter here, I don't know, you think of going to Disneyland, Disneyland or something in LA. Actually, the first time I ever came to California in 1992 was in February. Yeah. I left Philadelphia in a hailstorm. Yeah. Get out here, it's about, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, yeah. and it's this beautiful mist of rain, palm trees. 65 degrees. I know the feeling. I know the feeling hitchhiking out here in 68 in January from University of Colorado with my girlfriend. And we caught a ride out of New Mexico. I have a photo of me and her standing there in front of Bob and Ali, uh, Al Unser's, Bobby and Al Unser's speed shop, which I didn't know what we were in front of, but just on the road. And uh, we caught a car going to the P Pomona Drags, so the Winter Nationals. So we, we got in the back and got there and they went into the motel, the guys did, and we slept out in the car. And then the next morning, you, know, you wake up and it's palm trees and it's, yeah. it's tolerable weather. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll move here. Uh, Richie Valens, all right, what else you got? You got another sort of an LA guy. Yeah, well, actually, why don't we skip the Roy Milton and go right to the Johnny Guitar Watson? We could do that. We could reverse the order of the last two CDs yeah. if we give them a minute in there. Yeah. But we'll probably have time to go out on the Johnny Guitar Watson for the uh, credits. Okay. So. This song is uh, Hop, Skip, and Jump by Roy Milton. What do you got to say about Roy Milton? Oh, th these are just, uh, out of all the Jump Blues guys, I think Roy just, his records sounded pretty much, they were like the best sounding records, hmm. for one thing. They didn't sound like they were recorded under a shoebox. I don't think most of them did. Oh, I, I think, think a lot of them did. Like the Winoni Harris records, just hmm. always. I don't know. Whis Quiet Whiskey sounds badly recorded. I mean, Christ, that's mm, crisp. No, that's, that one sounds good. Yeah, you're right. Like, it does stand good out. Good Rocking Tonight sounds really bad. That, that sounds like it was recorded from a 78. I mean, it sounds terrible. Yeah. I, I agree. But the other thing is Roy Milton's band was, I just think he had the best band. You know who I like best out of the whole period is, is I like Tiny, Brad, Tiny Bradshaw best. Yeah, he's another one that just... I think he was a kind of a fish out of water. I think he was from the past, trying the new style. Yeah, but they're great records. And the other thing is he recorded with his road band, uh -huh. which is also what Roy Milton tended to do, was record with the guys he was playing 300 nights a year with. Well, like many times in learning about old records, uh, Hop, Skip, and a Jump, I heard from a many years later cover version by the Collins kids. That's the only way I know it. 
Yeah, which I never, that was never one of my favorite Collins Kids records anyway. And then when I heard the Roy Milton record, you know, this one and Keep a Dollar in Your Pocket are probably my favorite of the up tempo. Roy ones. Milton's a Los Angeles player. Yeah. He had a brother. I didn't know that. Did he not? Okay, wrong guy. Little Milton. Little Milton. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who I'm thinking of in a minute when this is over. But uh, hop, skip, and a jump. Roy Milton, what, what do you think? What year do you think this is from? Oh, I'm not sure. It, uh, For late 40s. Late 40s, I don't know. It could have been recorded yesterday and it still would have knocked me off my during, chair. During the great jump period. Roy Milton, hop, skip, and a jump. saw my baby there I dreamed of heaven saw my baby there she had pearly white teeth and cold black wavy hair My baby's kisses taste like cherry pie Gonna love my baby till the day I die She's so sweet to me. 